welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to introduce our brand new stamp set, Whoosh Kites, and its coordinating dies. We're also going to be introducing our stitched sentiment banners, which are the cutest little banners for adding sentiments to cards. So let's go ahead and check them out. First up, we're going to take a look at Whoosh Kites, and that little mouse running with the string is too cute. The set has all these adorable little mice and different styles of kites that you can mix and match with them. This mouse here is my favorite. I love the little baby on his shoulders. It's just so sweet, and I love this style of kite too. This set has a ton of little scene builder elements. We have two different pieces of grass in two different sizes, and then the most adorable little wildflowers. We have the trio and then the individual one too. And then we have my other favorite mouse from the set, and this is the mouse I call the yay mouse because it looks like he's saying yay, and he is just so cute. We have two different sizes of clouds that you can add into your scenes, and then a sweet little butterfly, and a trail for the butterfly so that you can show the butterfly kind of flying through the sky, and a cute little heart too. This here is the string for the kites so that you can connect the mice in their string to the kites themselves. And then we have different sizes and styles of smiley faces that you could add into the clouds or into the kites too. And then we have these little rosy cheeks that you can stamp around the smiles to give them a happy little glow. We have some mini sentiments here. We have never give up, flap for the butterfly, we have run for the mouse that's running with his kite, fly high, whoosh, of course, and then we also have oh happy day, and I love that one. Then we have some great sentiments. We have I really look up to you, you got this, which is so cute, and then we have some mix and match sentiments. So we have you make my heart soar, or you can stamp you make me smile. Then we also have wishing you a, and some more mix and match elements, either wishing you a carefree or wishing you a happy, and then you can stamp day right after. So I love that you can mix and match and create the perfect sentiments for your cards and have a little exclamation point to add to them too. Now it's time to add some color to these adorable images, and I'm going to be using my Copic markers here, but you could use watercolors, colored pencils, whatever your favorite way to color is. And for all these mice, I'm going to use the same markers, and you can see that I'm adding my darkest marker to kind of the outside edges and curves, blending out with my medium and then to my light. And I'll do the same thing here, so you can see where I'm adding the darkest marker around the curves of the little mouse, under his neck, around his legs, and then I'm just going to blend it out, keeping it light towards his face. And for this little mouse, up top, I'm going to make him just a little bit lighter so he kind of stands out from the mama mouse there. And then we have this other little guy here. Oh my gosh, he's just so cute. Every time I see him, I just think he's just celebrating. You know, he's just saying, yay! <laughs> and so we'll add some color to them. And now some rosy cheeks and some pink for their ears and their noses. And then I'm just going to take a nice light brown marker and just add a little line around their bellies. Now for the string there, I use some blue markers, and then for these kites, there's so many different ways that you can color them. You can color them all one color, you can do four different colors like I'm doing here. You can also paper piece them, and we'll be showing you that in just a little bit. Now for that string, I decided to use some gray there, so I like using kind of lighter blues, grays, or turquoise colors for the strings. And then for this kite, I'm going to do some alternating pinks there to go along with that cute heart shape. And then here I'll do some yellow and some turquoise. So there's so many cool and different ways to color in the kites, and it's such a fun way to add bright color to your cards. I'm adding a little bit of blue to the inside of the clouds, and then I'll have some nice bright green grass, and those little wildflowers are another fun place to bring colors into your cards. So you can do pinks, purples, yellows, etc. There's something about those little flowers that I just love them so much. I'm going to add some color for the butterfly and the heart, and then here are the coordinating dies, which I can bend apart at the tabs or use my wire snips to separate. And then you can take the coordinating dies, line them up with your stamped images, hold it in place with some low tack tape, run it through the die cut machine, and you'll have perfectly cut out images every time. And then here is a look at all of the images from the set, and there is just something about these kites and the cute little mice that just makes me smile, and it is so much fun to mix and match these together. So you can create cute little individual scenes with just one mouse and one kite, or you can mix and match the mice and the different kites all together, depending on the style of your card. You can see how you can use that little kite string to connect the string to the kite, and then add the cute little scene builder elements all around to make the sweetest and cutest scenes. I mean, look how adorable this is. Then you can add the little yay mouse there to kind of fill in your scene and add all the different little elements. And then you can add more mice and more kites. I mean, these are just so much fun. 
These are the stitched sentiment banner dies, and we have them in three different sizes, which means that a ton of your sentiments from your favorite stamp sets will fit in these, and the stitch detail makes them feel so special. And we're gonna be using these stitched sentiment banners on our cards today. And to make the first card, we're gonna start off with some paper piecing. And here we have the brand new pint size pattern summertime paper pad that has the most gorgeous little tiny patterns that are perfect for paper piecing for these kites. So in this case, I'm gonna take out the red, blue, green, and purple papers, and I'm gonna stamp my kite on all of these different papers. And the cool thing about this paper piecing technique is that when you do this, you could actually make four different kites with four different orders of colors, which is really cool. And you can do this paper piecing technique on any of the styles of kite and you'll see them all paper pieced in just a little bit. So now that we've stamped on the pattern paper, I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut right along the black line of the stamp. And then we'll repeat that with all of the different colors, just trimming right around just to the main part of the kite. Then once we have all of our different kites there trimmed out, which by the way, this would be adorable too. You could just have these super cute kites in all of these different pattern papers, which is so adorable, but I really wanted to do this kind of paper piece patchwork looking kite. And so then what we're gonna do is take our scissors and then just trim out one part of the kite of each of them. So I'm gonna do the upper left-hand corner here for the red and then continue on through all of the different colors. And then I'm gonna save the little excess of kite pieces that I have so that I can paper piece more kites for my card later. Now that I have all of those little kite pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the kite on some white cardstock and add some color to those cute little bows so that it coordinates with the colors of the different pattern papers. And this is a fun way to create a paper piece kite that is gonna have that nice die cut white border all around it. But I did wanna show you a card from Elise right now that's so gorgeous and she stamped the kites and then just die cut them directly on the pattern paper and I think that's such a cool look. But now we're gonna get back to our kite that'll have a slightly different style. So I love that there's so many ways to do these. And so we have our kite that's been stamped on white cardstock and we've die cut it. And now we're gonna layer in all of those little triangle pieces that we cut from the kites. And I just think it's so gorgeous when you see all of these triangles lining up. It becomes this like beautiful little patchwork quilt of a kite that I think is just adorable. And I love that it has that kind of die cut white border all around it. I'm also gonna take a white gel pen and just add some white gel pen lines to the kite and I feel like it really helps those patterns pop and just look so pretty. So I'm going to take my kite and set it aside for now and start to create a background for my whoosh kite scene. So I went ahead and die cut a stitched scalloped slimline rectangle and I'm just going to trim down two pieces here that are going to fit inside of that scalloped rectangle. And for one of them I'm going to take my slimline grassy hillside here and line it up so that I have this beautiful grassy slimline and then also a plain piece that I'm going to build up my sky on. And to create the sky, I'm using some tumbled glass ink here, and I'm just inking it so that it's darker blue towards the top, and then almost fades into nothing towards the bottom. And then I added some salvage patina around it too, just to add a little bit of turquoise into the sky. Right now, I'm taking a water bottle and just spraying some water onto the background, and then picking up those water drops with my paper towel so that there's a ton of texture in the sky. I think it looks really, really cool. I've also taken that same tumbled glass ink, that nice light blue, and I just smeared some onto my mat. And what I'm gonna do is take my water bottle and just spray some water onto the ink, mix it up with my paintbrush, and pick up some of that paint that we've created here, and then tap the paintbrush to create splatters in the sky. And the texture between the colorful splatters and then the water splatters, I think, is so beautiful. We're gonna set that aside to dry and work on the grass. And for the grass, we're gonna be using some celery stick ink and some freshly cut grass ink because it's the perfect color. So for the celery stick, we're just gonna build that whole thing up on the grass. And then the freshly cut grass color is the darker green. And that darker green is gonna come along the bottom so that the grass is nice and light towards the top, which gives it a really pretty glow. Now to help this kind of match the sky that we created, we're gonna take that darker green ink and smear it onto the mat and once again mix it in with some water to create a paint. And then we're gonna tap the paintbrush to create splatters all over the grass to give it this really nice texture, which is just going to be beautiful. 
Our next step is to start layering all of these pieces. So I'm gonna take that stitched scallop slimline rectangle that we die cut earlier, and then you're gonna see how these pieces are gonna layer inside so that you can see that stitching detail and also the scallop, and it creates this really pretty kind of frame around our scene. So I'm just gonna layer that one in just like that, and then of course we can layer our grass right on top, and I just love this scene. It's like the perfect summer day. I love it so much. Then we're gonna take out some more of that pint size patterns paper, which is so beautiful. And this time we're gonna use the 12 by 12 paper, which has a larger scale. And we're gonna die cut that with the largest slimline rectangle die. And this is gonna be a really pretty base with some bright color that's gonna coordinate with all of our kites because it's using the same paper collection. So I added a ton of foam squares to the back of my sky scene. And then we're gonna layer that right onto this beautiful pattern paper. And it's looking so gorgeous already. Now here we're going to take out our whoosh kite stamp set and we're going to bring back all those little mice that we stamped and colored and die cut earlier. Here is the kite that we created earlier and then we went ahead and made a bunch more kites in that same paper piece style. So you can see how you can mix and match all of these colors to create the most gorgeous kites. I'm gonna add some foam squares behind all of the mice and all of the kites because I really want them to pop on the scene. And then the little extra elements like the grass and the flowers, I'm gonna add those on with some tape runners so that they're flat and that's gonna create some really nice dimension. I love adding the little flowers there and the grass around the mice because I feel like it really helps ground them into the scene. Now, of course, we're gonna add our cute little yay mouse, which is just adorable. And then around him, we're gonna add some flowers and grass to kind of help once again, ground him into the scene. And I just think it looks absolutely adorable when you layer all those elements. It's what makes it feel like the perfect summer day. Now I'm gonna start adding some of these kites into the sky and this, I just, I'm just smiling because this card is just so happy. I love it so much. And I love how the paper piece kites are coordinating so nicely with that rainbow stripe paper in the background. Now we've added some more of our mice here, um, all of them into this card. That's why I like a slimline card with wish kites because it's fun because you can include all the mice, which is so adorable. And we're gonna keep adding these cute little kites into the scene, just kind of at different angles so that they really kind of fill in the scene and just look like they have a ton of movement. We're also gonna add that cute little butterfly and the trail flying around to kind of fill in some of the space. And then I really like doing this. We're gonna take the clouds and layer them so that they're tucked behind some of the kites. And that gives it a lot of dimension too. The next step that we need to do is add some of the kite strings. And so I went ahead and stamped these in some manatee ink, which is a nice light gray. I like using light gray or light blue for the strings. And then what you can do with the kite string is, is you can just trim it down to be the right size for your kite. So it's a really long string on purpose so that you could create different lengths of strings for your kites, depending on what you need, or you can trim them down to be a shorter string. So you can see how I kind of lay it behind the kite and then I lay it over the mouse and then just trim it down to what I need and then I just add some tape to it and then just tuck it right behind. I had to come back and trim off a little bit more of that one and then I'm just gonna use my tweezers to just kind of help me tuck it right underneath the mouse so that it looks like the string is coming from the string he's holding. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of these gorgeous clouds here into the sky and layer them together. So I'm layering the clouds over top of each other or layering them behind the kites. And by doing that, I feel like it adds a lot of motion into the scene. And so we're gonna add one more behind this kite here too. Now for the sentiment, I decided to use some vellum because I wanted that airy feel since the kites are all moving around in the wind. And so I'm gonna use one of those brand new stitch sentiment banners. I love these banners. The stitch detail is so pretty. And we're gonna die cut that from some vellum and that's gonna end up being tucked behind the kite. Then I'm stamping the phrase, I really look up to you from the set on there, which is such a sweet phrase. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off the end of that banner because we're gonna be tucking it behind the kite. Now vellum can be tricky because you have to hide the adhesive, but I know that upper corner is gonna be hidden behind the kite. So I'm gonna add just a little drop of glue there and then stick that behind the kite and then just hold it down so that it can dry. And that little drop of glue is enough to hold it in place. And I like that the rest of it is kind of floating a little bit because once again, it adds to the kind of airy windy day feel of the card. 
I decided to add one more cloud to kind of fill in the section there over to the left. And then we just need a slimline card base, which is going to be eight and a half by three and a half. And then we're gonna add some tape runner onto that. And then we can layer this whole scene on top. And I can't tell you how much fun it is to create cards with this wish kite stamp set. I mean, look at this, it's just so cute and so happy. I am just so in love with it. And Shari next up is gonna show you guys the cutest card, so take it away Shari. So today I'm creating a cute little scene with the new whoosh kite set. I've already colored and cut out my images with the coordinating dies and I will set those aside. And then I'm using some of the new papers from the Pint Size Patterns Summertime collection. I love this green with the little daisies. I think it's going to make some perfect grass. And then I'm going to pair that with some blue spiffy speckles paper. So I'm going to start by cutting each of these out with the outside in stitched rectangle so I have that lovely stitching detail. And then for my grass here with the little daisies, I'm going to use one of the grassy hillside dies. I do have one of the new sentiment banners cut here and I'm just putting this here for placement so I know where to cut my grass. Now I can go ahead and adhere this to my spiffy speckles sky. And then I'm going to place my little images where I want them to be because I am going to do a little bit of stamping before I start to adhere things down. So there is a stamp in this set with the long kite string and there's a die that cuts it out but I am going to stamp these directly onto the background in a gray ink, which I think gives it a really cool look. Like the can't see the string quite as well, which is kind of the way it is with the kite. They just look like they're floating out in the sky and you can't really see where they're tethered to all the time. So I've put my images here as placement so I can see kind of where I need to stamp my lines. And I'm just stamping this in some hippo ink. So you can see now when I put my little mice and my kites there on each end of the string, they look like they're holding their kites from their strings. I'm also going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment on that stitched sentiment banner. And I'm using the sentiment that says, you make my heart sore. I love these new stitched sentiment banners. I think they are so cute. And then before I glue things down, I wanted to stamp some clouds. So there's some little clouds in this set, and I thought it would be fun to kind of stamp them in a blue color for some subtle clouds up in the sky. So I'm using some mermaid ink, and you can see I was testing it on a little scrap piece to make sure that was the color I wanted before I started stamping these onto my card. And I'm just going around and varying where I put the two sizes. I like to make them go off the side so it looks like it was some pattern paper that I cut down. And then once I have that looking the way I like, I'm adding this to a craft card base so I have that craft colored frame around my little scene. Now I can add some foam squares to my parts and pieces and start to assemble my card. So of course I'm popping up this sentiment which is on some ballet slipper card stock cut with that stitched sentiment banner. Popping that up with some foam squares right along the bottom. And then I will also add some foam squares to my little images. So I'm starting with that cute little mouse with the baby on its head, which I think is so adorable. And then we have this other little mouse here holding the kite strings. Then for my kites, I am adding some cut little foam squares or some little tiny foam squares to the tails to kind of support those so they don't get caught on anything since they're popped up off the card. And you can cut a little foam square in half or I also have these little micro foam squares which are perfect for this application. So now we have our two kites and I colored those in some really colorful colors so they stood out in that sky. Then we have our third little mouse here and he has a little butterfly. So I added that little butterfly to his hand and then I'm adding foam squares all over the back. And I'm trying to make this one foam square overlap the butterfly so it's supported as well. And then he is going to go over here on the right side of my card. There's also these little um, flowers or greenery. I colored them green and I just thought that would be a fun little addition right above that sentiment banner in the grass. 
And then I'm also going to add some hearts. And instead of adding my usual die cut hearts, I thought I would take the little heart that's in this set and stamp it in some wild rose ink along with my clouds. There's also these really fun words like whoosh and flap. And I'm stamping those in manatees so they're kind of hidden in the background and you have to look for them. So I think that's kind of a fun little detail. Then of course, I want to add some glitter. So I'm adding glitter to the hearts I stamped as well as the kites and the little butterfly. And then here is my finished whoosh kites card and I just think it turned out so cute and adorable. Oh my goodness, Shari, this card is so cute and I love the little flowers and the grass and the stamp clouds. It's just adorable. And next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And this card by Grace just blew me away. I am absolutely in love with how she colored her kites in that rainbow fashion and I can't wait to try it too. I love the beautiful colors of her grass and that beautiful sky is from Rainbow Ever After and those patterns are just perfect for wish kite scenes. This next card by Megan is just so cute and happy and I love how she tilted the yay mouse just a little bit so it looks like he's balancing on one foot. It just makes me smile. Wish Kites is so cute in platform pop-ups and I love this one by Mindy. That big sun is our brand new Mr. Sun die and I just think this is so adorable and I can't wait to try a platform pop-up with it too. And then this card by Elena is just gorgeous. Her sky is so pretty and the scene is just so beautiful and I love how she stamped her trails. Here's the card by Elise that I showed you earlier with her paper piece kites. I love that you can use the kites on their own too. It makes for such a gorgeous card. The meadow backdrop die is the perfect little scene builder for these adorable kite scenes. And that sentiment up there is from a brand new stamp set called Give It A Whirl Messages. And I think it's so cute with the kites. Maureen shows us that this set is so cute with the give it a whirl. As you give this card a whirl, you can see this super cute scene with the mouse hanging upside down. I love mixing and matching all the different mice together. This card by Anna is so sweet. She used our new scallop French border and created a really, really cool layout that I can't wait to try myself. And then here is the card by Tammy that inspired us to make ours today. It's so beautiful and I just love those paper pieced kites so much. This card here by Letitia uses one of our brand new stencils and the bright colors are so happy. I love that you can use these kites with or without the mice. It's so adorable. And then our giant sending love is such a cute match for these mice in Audrey's card. Oh my gosh, I love her beautiful scene. So we cannot wait to see all of your Whoosh Kites cards, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and we hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!